The population of nearly all African countries south of the Sahara is composed of Bantu-speaking people. Bantu ethnic groups have their own language or dialect and vary in size from a few hundred to several million. The Kikuyu from Kenya and uh, the Zulu from South Africa are two Bantu groups familiar to many people worldwide. The Somali Bantu belong to at least three distinct groups. There are those who are indigenous to Somalia, those who were brought to Somalia from other Bantu-speaking areas of Africa but who were integrated into Somali society, and those who were brought to Somalia as slaves and who maintained their ancestral culture and the Bantu languages. It is the last group of Somali Bantu that has experienced the most persecutions in Somalia. The Somali Bantu who were brought to Somalia as slaves in Somalia in the 19th century have been viewed and persecuted as foreigners. Their status as slaves along with their physical, linguistic and cultural differences maintained their sense of isolation in Somalia for generations. Over time, thousands of Somali Bantu escaped slavery and settled in the fertile Juba River Valley in southern Somalia. The Bantu's lineage of slavery made them second-class citizens in Somalia before and during the colonial period. Even after Somalia achieved independence in 1960s, the Bantus were denied political representation, access to educational opportunities, adequate health care and other basic government services. They were not allowed to intermarry with other Somali ethnic groups and lived under a system of apartheid. During Siad Bar's military dictatorship in the 1980s, Thousands of Bantus became landless as government parked agricultural businesses and the political elite confiscated their land for cash crop production. The land in the Juba River Valley is extremely valuable because of its centrality to the food and export crop production of the country. When the civil war broke out in 1991, the Bantu were targeted more intensely for their valuable agricultural land. Armed bandits and militia will attack Bantu families with impunity, extorting all their possessions, raping and murdering farmers. In October 1992, the Bantu began fleeing Somalia in masses for refugee camps located approximately 40 miles from the Somali border in Kenya, northeastern province. Thousands of Somali Bantu lived in the Gahale, Ifo, Livoy and Hagadera refugee camps in Kenya for over a decade before being resettled around the world. Over 12,000 Somali Bantu have been resettled in the United States. The stories that you are about to hear are from the experience of Somali Bantus who speak Mai Mai as their first language and who live in Baltimore, Maryland. We were forced to abandon our homes in the Juba and the Shawele Valley regions and lived in Kenya as a refugees before coming to the United States. We are sharing these stories to inform the world about our struggle. We are also using these stories to organize our community to fight for justice in Somalia, in the refugee camps in Kenya and in the United States of America.